He's got walls. Oh, wow. GG, bro. You've missed it. You've asked for it. And I'm going to daggum deliver this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we're bringing it back. We are going to be hopping in and spectating some random people in Call of Duty Warzone solos. Now, I've had some questions. Hey, Expel, are you going to do some duos? Are you going to do some uh, some quads, some trios? I don't know. What are you going to do, Expel? I might. I might. But today we're hopping in and we're going to be spectating one of the most aggressive players I've seen in Call of Duty Warzone. He is a streamer uh, on the Facebook. So make sure to go ahead and uh, stick around for this whole video because things get weird. We do run into some other things. That it's Look, you should stick around. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoy. If you enjoy, subscribe to the channel because we're working our way to 200,000 subscribers. Like the video. We're working our way to 10,000 likes on the video. And enjoy the daggum thing while checking out the socials linked down below, including my Twitch, twitch.tv slash. I love you guys. I hope you enjoy and let's get this party started. All righty guys Welcome back to the spectating series on the channel ladies and gentlemen We're hopping back and we're doing what we do and we are dropping uh, I don't know superstore sure superstore. I, I don't know superstore sound good to you guys. We're gonna do it So we're changing the series up a little bit recently and I say recently like I don't do this every time I somehow always find a reason to fuss about the way that people play and there's a reason for it sometimes people just play in such a weird way and i know everybody has their own play style but for the love of god i'm just kidding i really don't care that much we're gonna drop in i'm just gonna i'm gonna just hey buddy hey buddy how are you pal you having a good day now we're just gonna I, i'm not even gonna heal up we're just gonna drop down and fight this kid that's in here <laughs> He said, what's up, dog? He said, what's up, dog? How you like that? Oh my God, this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, let's let's go ahead and we'll get out of here real quick. Maybe. I'm pretending like I'm gonna win this. I have this bad habit of every time I, I, I'm recording a video to not get, it. oh, especially with the Amax. This Amax is the worst. I mean, it's a good gun, but I'm saying in general on, let's see. Okay, I'm scared. Oh. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. It's fine. We're okay. All right, let's go straight back to the store in which things get super. Let's see if we can get the most aggressive Warzone players uh, in the game. That's the goal, is to try and get people that are actually really, really aggressive, really excited to, you know, play the game, not just sit in corners, stuff like that. Because that, that just doesn't make for good content. Uh, but I want to see if I can pull maybe some tips and tricks out of stuff like this and see if I can, you know, maybe explain why they're doing what they're doing and maybe hopefully I can do that because what ends up happening is sometimes they just play in such a weird way that I just I, I literally don't understand sometimes and that's the reason that some of these videos are like why well, is Expel not explaining anything? It's because I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand why they play like that. So we're gonna head in here. And what we could do, yeah, we could have just splatted on the ground, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pop on dead silence and I'm just gonna run up to somebody. Buddy. Hi man. No, come back. I'm around here! Woo! Woo! <laughs> I've got a pistol, dog. Come on. This work. Oh, he's dead. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, I could just. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just messing with this kid. I'm. I'm so sorry. I don't have to. Oh my god! Another one. What is happening right now, guys? Somebody come kill me. I'm taking the money because I don't want you to have it. I'm just going to be rude. <laughs> Put down the shield turret. Sure. <laughs> All right. Can you kill me? Is that another guy? <laughs> All right. 
All right, let's spectate. We got killed by somebody who had Facebook.gg in their name. I assume he killed the other guy just because the other guy, I got down on one bullet. I don't, I don't know what's going on. All right, so we have adult life here. I wonder, I wonder. Let's let's see adult life. Let's look up his stream real quick. Uh, no, not not salt life. We're not. I didn't mean. I meant. Mm -mm, I meant adult life. Uh, so this man, this man, he is actually live. He's pushing for ten thousand kills this week. Homie's got one viewer. I'm not like calling him out in like a bad way. I'm just saying, you know, like this is what we're looking at here. He's got five kills. Not a bad player. Obviously, you know, like, I'm not trying to, like, toot my horn. He probably would have been dead if I would have pulled out a different weapon or not acted like a moron. But I, I was just... It seemed like the fun thing to do. So, he's rocking the kilo. He's got $11,000. The man's thinking, you know what? I'm going to check the back door. Make sure no one else is coming in. I think I saw somebody a second ago. I, he he might have tried to fight somebody, but he saw the... Uh uh, satchel. He saw the satchel. He wants to go ahead and push for said satchel. Got to make sure that he's taking care of the business when he's doing his business. So, I don't... Oh, he hurt somebody. Oh, he's got a watch. The watch is always giving these guys away. I'm telling you, man. Poor guys. This... Ooh, is he on controller? Is he on controller? The, so, the reason I'm asking that is I'm curious because I, I like to try and figure out whenever I'm spectating people whether or not they're on controller because the way that he, like, aimed down, it looked like he had, he, he had gotten stuck. It looked like he got stuck on where the guy was at before and it wouldn't turn that well. And the reason I said, hey, you've got 14 grand. Why aren't you getting your guns? Homie, what are you doing? If I'm this guy, I'm going straight over grabbing the, uh, the loadout drop, maybe hopping in the vehicle and then pushing away. He's on controller. Can confirm. He is on controller. All right, so, uh, by the way, this is being recorded live for anybody that's curious. What? Are you good? Adult life. Please let me make a video about you. Please, for the love of God. I I need you to not... Please, come on. Come on, man. What are you... What? What? How did you not... How is that kid not hitting you at all? <laughs> This is the wildest game. What is happening? What is going on? I'm blown away right now. This guy. All right. There's going to be another guy pushing this direction. He's got his M19 out. Homie, you've got to heal up. All right, he's pushing, he's pushing, he's pushing. Not live, come on. You kill this kid. Oh my God. Don't life is disgusting. It's disgusting. Oh my goodness. Is this kid a pro? Who is this guy? He, he's, he's working his way to 10,000 kills apparently today. He just turned on that kid. He ended his whole career. That poor guy. Oh my goodness. What the frickity frack, dude? All right, so, Doll Life, why are you not going for your class? What a weird thing to do. That's my question. He could have easily gotten uh, his loadout, hopped in the car, thrown that loadout down, and then went for his guns. Maybe his chat has him on a challenge. Nope, it looks like he's going for his guns right now. What a... What? This poor guy, he gave it his best, man. He didn't deserve this. It's all right, Greenhead's got five kills as well. And he's flicking around in the ground. Was it weird how fast he died? Tell me we don't end up spectating a hacker here. I mean, look at how his, his aim's just like flicking around. He, I think he might just have his sensitivity way too high is the issue. Um. Yeah, he grabbed an MP5 class, but he's got an Odin. He might have aimbot. Yeah, ah, uh, son of a, this guy is lagging so hard. He's on a VPN. He's got his, he's got everything hidden. This man's about to do his thing. Well, we had a good opportunity there for a second to watch somebody very, very good. Instead, we might end up watching somebody that may have the hacks There's a guy up above.
Okay, he might not be hacking. I think he's just... What is... Hello? Is this guy... Hello? Um, what just happened? Okay. All right. Let's take a step back here. We got to take a step back here. That was regular shots. That man wasn't flicking anybody's head or anything like that. But, but I'm assuming this man is lagging so bad that the desync that he's giving other people is that on his screen, he had pushed out on that other guy's screen. He probably didn't even push out in any way whatsoever. So that's the weird thing with lag is that every once in a while you'll have somebody that seems like that. Okay, for the love of God, homie. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, is, this is what lobbies are now, by the way. Now now that uh, Cold War's out, this is how lobbies are. Just like super, super weird. It's, it's a lot more mixed. I, this is like the reason that I made a video the other day about how whether or not skill-based matchmaking has been removed. Because it's, it's, it's what it seems like. Because you get a, a wide variety of people. I'm dropping a lot more 20s now. Stuff like that. Uh, and, and there are still streamers that are playing this game. So I, I should be getting matched up with them. But I think skill-based matchmaking is off. And when you have millions and millions of players that are that are playing this game, you end up getting uh, different kinds of people. Uh, especially without skill-based matchmaking. Rather than just me me being put up against TP and, 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 and Nick Merckx and all these guys, you know? Uh, so not crazy hard lobbies. But... They are a little bit laggy here and there. This guy obviously lagging super, super hard. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. But it's working to his advantage. Absolutely. Uh, it looks like he's going to go for the smart move, which is going to be to... Uh, okay, apparently I'm on the other monitor. Which is going to be to go ahead and look for, you know, his, his recon so that he can figure out what the last circle is going to be. That's really the smartest thing you can do as a solo is to do something like that. Or, or alternatively, grab yourself a Bertha. And start pushing in towards the, uh, you know, towards whatever the storm is. But you can really just easily drop a lot of kills if you hop in a, a big truck and you push people and you jump out. The big thing for me is you want to make sure that when you're jumping out of the car, you're actually looking in the direction of the person. Otherwise, you're going to jump out looking the wrong way. Because if you're looking at the person while in the car, like you, you've turned your camera to look at them, it'll actually jump out looking at them, looking the direction that you, uh, you had originally looked. Uh, so this guy... <clears throat> kind of nasty uh, just with a couple of shots here and there uh, it seems like the, the guy that we were watching the adult life Facebook guy he uh, he got killed by this guy it looked like on the kill cam from what I've been told that the uh, the guy might have had a head headshot hacks aimbot whatever oh I gotta pop these out hold on it was it was hurting my my tongue so anyway uh, it looked like he might have some sort of aimbot or something like that I haven't seen it doesn't look like it to me uh, but we're going to see as we spectate this guy as to whether or not he is cheating. I've ran into a lot of cheaters lately. I will say that. Last night, I was trying to record a video in solos. And uh, it, it was it was going to be a tips and trick video. But over and over, I kept getting killed by people that were either walling or they had aim lock or something like that. And it, it, was, it was very frustrating. And a big thing for me is uh, people don't understand. Oh, my God. People don't understand how I... Yeah. I think that locked onto him through the wall. Honestly, I don't know if you saw that. It might have locked on through him to him through the wall. I think it really might have. But whenever it comes to walls, one thing you want to watch for whenever you're, you know, like getting or you get killed and you're watching the kill cam or something like that. Uh, watch where your character's at. A lot of the times they'll mess up and they'll look at you before you peek. They'll like lock on before you peek and then like follow you out. So that's what kept happening to me last night is that uh, I, I would run into people like that. Now, this guy, he's obviously not that great, it seems, because he's kind of terrified to push into a building, which is a little weird to me, uh, given the way that he's playing. But he is literally just playing for these recons. I don't know why he did that recon earlier. He could have waited like 20 seconds and gotten the next circle past this one. And then this one would have taken him to the one after that. Uh, but uh, it is what it is. He can go ahead and do as many of these as he wants. He's got $8,000. He's got both of his weapons. He's pretty much set for the game. All he's got to do is just find that last circle and wait it out. And that might be what we see here. There's 23 players remaining. This guy's got six kills. Uh, and, and what is he doing? Is he pushing back for this kill? What is this guy doing? Why is he looking through the wall? What is this guy doing? Massively... He was! He's cheating! He's got walls! 
He's got walls. Oh, wow. GG, bro. GG. Homie had walls this whole time. Okay, so that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and report him from cheating. Let me explain to you what happened. And Matt, you can, you can edit this to go back. And you can see his gun. This guy, this guy is cheating with lag, which is crazy. Uh, whenever he was running backwards, like into this area, he was running into this area. He looked through the wall at the building where that guy was sitting. Uh, so he's obviously not going to go in. I guess, yeah, uh, Scooby Doo in the chat said uh, he's afraid of the Doof Doof. Uh, absolutely. Uh, it, it's terrifying. I would be as well. But yeah, definitely has walls. Might have aim lock. We don't know. Um, but we know confirmed he is cheating. I, I, I do kind of want to watch this, though. I, I, I'm very curious as to how he's going to play the rest of the game. Because a lot of the guys that are cheating, like, you get you get maybe, I don't know, less than a percent of cheaters that are actually good at the game. A lot of the times, they feel like they can't compete, and they end up cheating so that they can, you know, feel like they're good or whatever. Uh, and, and I hear this a lot. I've talked to multiple cheaters at this point, and they're like, yeah, everybody else is cheating. Why don't I? Well, in this case, uh, obviously, that that's exactly how he feels. And, and the issue is, is that whenever it comes to skill-based matchmaking, people don't realize that it affects the way that you think about people playing the game. If you're on the lower end of like the uh, the skill-based matchmaking spectrum, uh, you'll end up thinking because you're not used to seeing people that are good at the game. You'll end up thinking that the people like streamers and content creators and stuff like that, you're gonna think that they're cheating because they're so much better than you, and it blows your mind and stuff like that. I've heard it multiple times. If you look at the comments of all my videos, people think that I'm cheating, especially in the ones where I'm using the Car 90 AK. I'm using a mouse and keyboard, dog. Like whenever it comes to sniping long-range weapons, you're gonna be better on mouse and keyboard. Whenever you're using close-range weapons like an MP5. Or, or a shotgun, you're going to be better on controller. It is how it is. Uh, and, and there's really no like way that you can argue with that. I, like I physically can't aim down up close with a mouse because I'll miss no matter what, because I, I can't track well up close. And, and, and you're going to see that with a lot of different people that are on mouse and keyboard. Everybody has the same problem. It's hard to track whenever you're up, up close with a mouse and keyboard. But uh, this guy just really lagging his butt off. I guess he wants to sit right here. Uh, it looks like we're getting some people up on the map right here uh, on the uh, the buy station. This guy might just sit here for the rest of the game as he's he's lagging. He's terrified. He's probably not that good at the game, but he is using walls 100% confirmed. Um, this guy has the uh, the MP5 with a Merc grip. He's got a, a no stock. So this is, this is 100% meant for speed. Now, one thing that I changed, especially if you're not great at, uh, at aiming... Something that's going to help you with the MP5, and it's really not going to take away but like 1% speed, uh, is go ahead and, and get rid of that 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 no stock or the FTAC collapsible, I mean. Because if you do that, that no stock, it, it, it makes your recoil twice as difficult to uh, to handle, right? So if you change that out to something like slide of hand or, or something like that, maybe even like a stipple grip if you really need the help. But if you change that to slide of hand, your accuracy is going to be so much better, especially at like a, like a short ish distance short to medium range distance rather than up close and personal it's going to be very very helpful now he is using the amax uh and we saw him really hitting some great shots with the amax earlier uh but he's he is just chilling this man is big chilling he he does not give a dang he really does not give a dang uh if i'm this guy i've got a truck i may as well push stuff you know uh in, in this situation you're better off trying to kill everybody that's in the game because the longer you wait, the closer the circle gets, the more of a, uh, a cluster it's going to be. Like, people are just going to push in. Everybody's going to start fighting later on, and it's going to be a lot more difficult for you to get the win. So if you take everybody on one by one and you're in a vehicle or something like that, you're going to be in a much better situation in, 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 in specifically, specifically something like this. Uh, so <clears throat> it's funny, though. You know, I, I've, run, I've ran into a lot of people that are cheating They'll have their walls, they'll have their, their, their aim lock, uh, their aim bot, whatever you want to call it. And uh, they won't have a lot of kills. But if you look up their account on cod.tracker.gg, if you look that up, uh, you can see that they are n like, they're, they're terrified to show that they're hacking because either A, you know, their hacks were expensive. They don't want to give it away. They don't want to get banned. Or B, they don't really know, have the know-how to make another account with the same hacks. Um, and, and if you watch my video about speaking to a hacker and him telling us, all the secrets he did explain that all he has to do is make a new account new phone number stuff like that which is really funny because they actually have things 
for for phone numbers which if you go back and you listen to the very first video where i interviewed a hacker he explains that yeah you can spoof your phone number you can make as many phone numbers as you want they don't have to be real uh and, and it'll just fake the phone number for that exact moment and so it, i'm sure one of these days we're gonna have the ultimate hacker where you can barely tell that he's cheating uh but you know there's no way that activision will ever get him stuff like that now and i like that he actually finally got out in his vehicle and he's finally pushing around he does have that UAV. It would have been a good opportunity to go ahead and pop that UAV. Figure out where that guy's at. This guy, poor guy, cannot drive for the life of him. Just having the most difficult time in his entire life. It's, oh my gosh, it is the worst, this poor guy. But there's 11 people left. Circle's still rather large, you know? 11 people, but half of it's already out. What was that? He's stunned? I'm not sure what this guy's doing. He can't. He just keeps running to the wall. Poor guy's lagging out of his booty hole. He saw the guy in the window. This guy's definitely dead. I mean, he is just not that great. He has walls. He, he, he wasn't turning on his aim lock because I was spectating. GG's to the guy. GG's to the guy. There's, there's literally nothing else to be done right there. This guy also sitting in a building trying to shoot somebody really far away. Doesn't really have the aim on him. Level 144 might be the first go around. Really big fan of uh, Alex Zedra based on the uh, the calling card. Hey, shout out to Alex Zedra. I don't know what that was, but uh, homie's got a kilo. Looks like he's running the uh, the streamer kilo class. He does have a munitions box, which I'm assuming is why he's been sitting in that building for so long. He felt it was kind of necessary to to chill in that building because he had the opportunity to just not move with a munitions box. He could shoot forever until yeah, which is why he's going directly back to that building again. And it's not a bad play. Don't get me wrong. It's not a bad play. Uh, he does have eight kills, so good for him. Late game, he's got eight kills. This is the, this guy is definitely you know a top percenter whenever it comes to this game. Uh, but <clears throat> but it doesn't really mean much whenever you get down to the nitty gritty, especially if most of the time you're getting your kills from like camping or sitting in a building or something like that. When you get in a one on one gunfight, you might not be able to hit your shots. You know, like you can. This guy can mount up all he wants, but. Even when he was mounted up, he wasn't hitting his shots properly. Now, I don't think that he saw the guy down below. Matt, go ahead and replay it. Uh, never mind. Don't do that because he just popped up right there. I don't think he saw the guy down below. He just happened to catch that guy right there. Yeah, you can see he's not good, got really good shots. Um, if I had to take a guess, he's... I want to say this guy is on controller. And the reason I say that is because when he aims down... He will burst to fire rather than trying to uh, <laughs> trying to fix it, right? Uh, or, or just like adjust his aim. So he's gonna go brr, 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 instead of that was a really funny noise. Brr, 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 uh, instead of actually trying to just like adjust his aim as he shoots. So you'll see that a lot with people playing on controllers is that they'd rather burst fire rather than anything else. But I'll tell you what, a good a good thing for you to use is probably a kilo. Whenever you are on controller, if you can learn to to adjust your aim as time goes on, this is an easy kill for this guy. Yep, easy kill. See, this is what I'm talking about. He he can't, he cannot adjust his aim. He's struggling with it. He's gonna try and blow up the truck. Yep, easy kill. Good stuff. Showtime might come out with a win here. He got 10 kills. Doesn't he? He does have to move. I'm not sure how fast he's gonna get up there. Again, somebody using a an FTAC collapsible. I'm telling you guys. It's not worth it. And if, if if I'm this guy, I'm switching out to a thermite because I do still have a munition. He does have a munitions box. So he may as well go ahead and grab that thermite because thermites are a lot more like powerful than a Simtex because you can stick it to a specific area. It immediately sets on fire. It'll do more damage over time if they sit in it. And then on top of that, you have the opportunity to stick somebody and it will always kill them if you stick them. It's it's more likely to blow up a vehicle, disable a vehicle, stuff like that. It's it's just an all around better equipment. Um, honestly, yeah, hitting that late game, not the play. I was like, what a what a bad spot to be in. I, I, I was thinking he's got a little bit of open area on the outside of the map here. You can see it coming in right here. There's too much area for this guy to go ahead and hit that. And I would like to say UAVs in game useless. I would like to see this guy. Yeah, so let, let me kind of explain. I get a lot of comments at the end of the game. You know, I've got 40 grand. I'm right behind, beside a buy station. Hey, why why aren't you why aren't you buying UAVs or getting a, an advanced UAV? Because it's pointless. If you get a, an advanced UAV, there's nothing good that's going to come out of it in any way whatsoever. Because within 250 meters, no matter what, if people have ghosts at the end of the game, they're not going to show up on the mini map just because you know you get an advanced UAV. 
it's just not going to happen because ghost works no matter what within 250 meters if you're 300 meters out then uh then you'll pop up even with ghost it, it, it's a little weird he just saw the guy right there easiest kill of his life nice shots this guy also sitting on eight kills he's got 10 spectators what a game from this guy he's also running the uh the kilo but he instead i think he had a blue dot am i not if, if I'm not wrong, I think he's got a blue dot. He's running the holographic. Man's a, a big fan of Nick Merckx. Good for you, man. Um, and That's not like a dig. I'm, I'm genuinely saying good for you, man. I don't know why I always have to explain that. Because somebody in the comments always goes crazy. They're like, how dare you say that about my lord and savior, Nick Merckx? He's going to say K-Posity. Oh, my God. No. 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 What a way to lose the game. Oh my god, GG's. Wow. Wow. And this is why we don't lay down in bushes. We we get aggressive. Alright? We get aggressive. Ladies and gentlemen, learn to be more aggressive in the game. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Show the love. Like the video. I love you. Hey. Brr, brr, brr.